from New York City, Comedy Central presents Zach Galifianakis. stylist today before the show and um, she was like uh, Zach what kind of look are you going for and I said just give me the high school drama coach <laughs> oh you're out of that one just give me the rapist <laughs> oh you're out of that one just give me the old sea captain <laughs> oh you're out of that one just give me a young Santa Claus You know what I like to do when I'm at a video store? You know the uh, quick drop they have there? I like to stick my penis in there. <laughs> and then look at the help and go, have you seen this? Is this any good? <laughs> oh, it's due back Tuesday? <laughs> when I go to events and uh, concerts and stuff, I, I think a lot of people, they yell out like, woo, or yeah, when they like something. I like to be more specific when I yell things out. I like to like, when I'm at a concert, I like to yell out things like, the way you play your music makes me feel good inside. <laughs> or instead of, instead of yelling encore, yell things like, come back and play some songs you haven't played yet. <laughs> Please. Or don't boo people, don't boo. Be more specific. Why are you doing that? I hate that! I hate it! <laughs> Reality shows are big now. Survivor, Temptation Island, The Mole. Oh my God, I, I, I wanna do a, uh, I wanna do a uh, reality show where it's uh, three racist white people that live in the South Bronx. <laughs> And it's called Cracker Hunt. <laughs> There'd be scenes of the white guys going, I, I, I didn't call you boy. <laughs> I want to do another reality show based on the mole, but it's, it's really about uh, STD, sexually transmitted diseases. And it's called, God, I hope that's a mole. <laughs> Now I'd like to do a few characters if I can. This first character I'm, uh, I've been working on <clears throat> is called the Timid Pimp. And he's on the phone with one of his hookers. Here we go, the Timid Pimp. Um, hi, Amber. Hi, hi, it's, hi, it's Marcus. Yeah, I can hold. Uh, all right, this next character. <laughs> This, this next character I'm working on is called the apathetic redneck, and he's he's uh, on the phone with his uh, he's on the phone with his uh, brother who's getting ready to get the death penalty. <clears throat> yeah, man, that sucks about the death penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama told me. Hey, what are you gonna do with your Camaro? I just realized how stupid all these are. <laughs> Snack. Okay, this next character uh, I've been working on for a while is called the Gay Snake.
I really want to leave uh, New York City very badly, but I just put $6,000 on my Metro card. <laughs> Growing up, my dad was like, Zach, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And he's so right. Take this sentence, for instance. She had a crack baby. Versus, she had a crack baby. Today I was in my hotel and uh, I was wearing my girl's kick-ass t-shirt and <laughs> wearing my ankle weights. <laughs> She's like, what am I going to talk about? And I just talk about life, Zach. Talk about your life. That's what the people want to hear. <laughs> so here goes. My roommate is Asian, and uh, I play the piano a lot in the house. And every time she comes to the door, I do this. <laughs> She's like, Zach, why do you do that each time I come to the door? And I'm like, because I don't have a gong. <laughs> Guys, have you ever woken up with an erection and then you realize you're just in a massage chair at Brookstone? <laughs> I'll take it! <laughs> I have sinus problems and it's... I'm Greek and I have sinus problems and uh, I, know, I know why. My body produces feta cheese. <laughs> It's not really a joke, it's just a fact. <laughs> Allow me to open up. <laughs> Have you ever been so drunk that you wet the bed? And I don't mean you're, you're sleeping in it, you're just standing over pissing on it. <laughs> I live in Los Angeles and uh, I was there on the Walk of Fame and I'd been drinking that night. And I just got a henna tattoo that said forever. <laughs> and I was making out with a squatter in front of Ripley's, believe it or not. <sighs> like I said, I was drinking. By the way, you know that you have a drinking problem when the bartender knows your name and you've never been to that bar before. <laughs> I 
So I'm there on the Walk of Fame and I stumble across Tony Danza's star. And I urinated on it. Just yelling out, who's the boss now? supposed to comment about the audience, but there's a hyena in the... <laughs> thank, thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you. Can you leave? Why is it that women can say things like, my girlfriend and I are going to brunch and no one assumes anything. But as soon as I say something like, my boyfriend and I are gonna go shop for fanny packs. <laughs> everyone thinks I'm a gay. <laughs> That's right, a gay. Three years ago, my sister was diagnosed with multiple personalities. And there's nothing funny about that. But she phoned me the other day, and my caller ID exploded. <laughs> I like to go to really bad movies like in their sixth week and there's only one other person in the theater and I like to sit right next to them. <laughs> and they're like, excuse me. And I'm like, shh, I can't hear Keanu. <laughs> I used to do a temp here in New York. I'll never forget, I called a temp agency once and they were like, well, do you have any phone skills? It's like, oh, I called you, didn't I? <laughs> you know what I like to do when I'm making out with a woman? I like to whisper into her ear, will you touch my vagina? <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm like, that's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> I need to change my life, I need to change my ways, I'll tell you that. Last year, I, I, my resolution, New Year's resolution, was to stop saying, you go girl, to myself. <laughs> but I have dreams, ladies and gentlemen, just like everyone in this room. Hopes, anticipation is the way I want my life. Let me share them with you. My dream of owning or having a three-boy country trio called the Chixie Dicks. <laughs> I also dream that the Spanish channel will have English subtitles. 
so I can finally figure out what I've been laughing at this whole time. <laughs> I also wish to move far, far away somewhere in Montana and open a giant ethnic hair care superstore. <laughs> and lastly, another dream of mine is to move to Pakistan or India and become a cab driver. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I uh, have a lot of um, oh, lady problems. And um, <clears throat> this is going to sound weird, but uh, all of my uh, ex girlfriends have formed a 12 piece a cappella group. And, uh, and uh, this is a little number uh, about my trouble with women.
Thank you very much. The Night Owls, everybody.